down, juggle man. Once again, it's time to watch your second most favorite juggler pontificate about juggling and what's difficult and what's easy. Yes, it's Juggle Man, who, not by choice, makes the easy look difficult and the difficult look more difficult. In today's episode, Juggle Man is examining three very different tricks. Decide for yourself what you think is an advanced trick. This video attempts to explain the difference between a beginner trick, an intermediate juggling trick, and an advanced juggling trick. One way to tell the difference between a beginner trick and an advanced trick is to count the number of props being used. Another way is to determine the risk factor of a trick. How hard is it to do the trick 10 times in a row without missing? It's rare that a high risk trick is performed live. That's what YouTube is for. A beginner tutorial. The three ball figure eight. A perfect example of a beginner trick is the one up, two up trick with three balls. Here Juggle Man's right hand is doing two balls in columns. His left hand is throwing and catching the third ball. Try starting a three ball cascade by throwing two balls up simultaneously. The third throw can also be thrown on the outside of the two balls. You'll find it's easier to throw the third ball across to the opposite hand. Try getting both of these starts down. Having control of that third ball is the secret to learning the figure eight pattern. Practice doing one up, two up out of a three ball cascade. You also want to practice the two ball columns being done in the left hand. Next, try switching the third ball throw between the left and the right hand. Make sure the two outside throws go right together at the same height. The next step is really the same pattern except that third ball is jumping back and forth over the left hand throw. Now do the same thing on the other side. The third throw is jumping back and forth over the right hand throw which goes straight up and down. You want to get to the point where you can do this pattern on one side and then switch to the other side. The next step is pretty obvious. You're going to jump the ball all the way over the two balls while switching hands. This trick is known as the tennis pattern. Once you've practiced all these steps, you can move on to the figure eight pattern, which is where the third ball is moving in a figure eight around the two balls. And now an example of an intermediate trick. The easiest way to do this trick is to do two clubs in one hand and two balls in the other. It also seems easier if the two clubs are done with single turns rather than doubles. It's also easier to start the pattern when you have two balls in one hand and two clubs in the other. It looks better to the audience if you turn sideways and keep the two balls on the far side. A slightly more difficult version is to do a ball and a club in each hand synchronous version is more difficult to start and stop. The most difficult combination is a ball and a club in each hand asynchronous. It's definitely the most challenging as it feels like you're catching four different objects. Surprisingly, if that's a word, the advanced trick is done with only one ball. The first step to learning this trick is to work on the blind heel kick. If the heel kick doesn't have a perfect arch, you're going to have to take a step to catch the ball on your foot. The risk factor of that blind heel kick is what makes this trick an advanced trick. Even Juggle Man, who has complete control of time and space, can't do this trick ten times in a row. Juggle Man has to actually reverse time in order to show this trick two times in a row. Please leave a wordy comment 
as it helps to rank this video higher so that it gets more views. Oh, and subscribe too.